If you're looking for a Christmas present, a Black Friday deal, or just something for home, I can highly recommend this. This is the Roborock S8. It has 6000 PA Hyperforce suction, which will basically suck in everything. It drives over. It has awesome maps, and you can send it to any room you want. It has LiDAR navigation and reactive 3D obstacle avoidance. It has an incredible application, it's got superb mapping, and it has custom routines and schedules, making your life that much easier. I personally bought the Roborock S7 about a year and a half ago, and from my experience I can tell you it's only been positive. It is an excellent, excellent robot vacuum. So the Roborock S8, with all the extra bells and whistles, really does make life a lot easier. You get a protection pad, instructions, you get the mop, and you also get the charger and the cable in the box as well as the robot vacuum itself, which is very nice. Inside you have a dustbin and a water tank. Not all robot vacuums offer two separate containers, so it's great that you have that with the Roborock S7 and S8. The dual roller brush is fantastic, it works really well. The S7 only has one brush, and I've noticed less hairs do get tangled in the dual roller brush. The wheels are rubber and have good suspension. The brush works really well and it has an omnidirectional wheel at the front, as well as little chargers. You have a little mop that you attach, an intelligent bumper to stop it destroying your home, and the water tank and dustbin have enough space for a few days of cleaning. That's my experience anyway. Getting it started is really simple, and doing the mapping is very, very easy. And I can switch between my two hoovers in the application. It has various ways of mapping, so you can have normal 2D maps, 3D maps, or matrix maps. I mainly use the 2D map as that works best. You have a few different modes. It can be really, really silent. It can be really, really loud. Or you can put it on max everything. And it's really good at obstacle avoidance. I found hoovers in the past have got stuck under chairs, under settees, on the carpet. The Roborock S7 and the S8 are really great at getting around obstacles, and the S8 recognizes cables and shoes. It also easily fits under all my furniture and has no problems with going up and down carpets. Filling up the water tank is really easy. I normally use warm water to get rid of those extra hard stains and dirt. When it comes to the mop, I make sure I wet it and then I squeeze all the water out so it's completely wet before it starts mopping. That just helps the hoover out or else you will get streaks at the beginning until it's fully wet. So I've zone selected here as I have a stain from a mountain bike and I've set it on mop and as you can see it's going to mop all the way around it and does a really great job with a little amount of water. I love that you can also select zones as well as rooms or the whole of your home. It returns to the charging hub with no problem at all and it will allow you to do off-peak charging in case you do have cheaper off-peak charging, saving you a ton of money.